Seven days on from a successful start to the Youth Cup defence. Round four of the competition is upon us already and the contrast could not be greater. Swap, a windswept training ground for Stamford Bridge. One man and his dog for 7,000 fans and Sunderland for Arsenal. Tonight's match pits the holders against the club they took the trophy from. It should be a belter and former Blues Youth Cupper Clive Walker is hoping it will be so and we will be having a word with him in just a moment after we have had a look at the teams that will be playing tonight. The home 11 essentially the second half team from the win at Sunderland last week with one big difference. Josh McEachran has stepped back from first team duty this week and comes into the middle. Although not in the anchor role we've seen him playing for Carlo Ancelotti, the 17-year-old will be more advanced tonight. Billy Clifford next to him will bring with him bags of energy. He started at right back last time. Ben Sampaio is instead playing at right back for this one. On the left will be Dean Conte, and in the middle, Chaloba and Papo. As for Arsenal, most of these players cruised past Darlington by six goals to one in the last round. But a few were also on the field as the Gunners' reserves got spanked for ten by Aston Villa last week. The main man in the middle is Chucks Anike. He scored three and set up three in the last round. Up front, Benica Fobe has passed a fitness test. And Dutch winger Carl Ebersilio is being watched tonight by his cousin, one Jeffrey Brumer. Big night for all of those boys and a big night for Dermot Drummond. On paper, on reputation, this might have been the Youth Cup final come May, but the draw for round four has brought Chelsea and Arsenal together now instead. The home tie in round five is the prize. And we can expect entertainment and good football. Tell you what, Ben, we've just seen the first touch by Josh McEachran. Straight away, we've got the ball from the kickoff. He's received the pass, and players have closed him down. They're, Arsenal will know what he's all about. They want to get as tight as they can to him. Straight away, he's put a reverse ball in, which has eliminated all their midfield. And, and let's hope we see a lot more of that this evening. Big jump there for Papo, but he's going to have a lot of them tonight. And some big players playing for Arsenal tonight. Fobe and Aniki both banging goals at youth and reserve level set plays like this one we need watching very carefully even if Arsenal of course do play the beautiful game as everyone knows throughout the levels but they do have size here comes the game's first corner on one minute it's an own goal it's a disastrous start for Chelsea Arsenal are one up at the bridge a minute into the match what a disaster this is, Ben, isn't it? Poor defending from the corner. Perhaps a lack of communication, but someone has surely got to attack this ball better than they did. It's been allowed to drop almost inside the six-yard box. Whether Jamal Blackman could have come for it or not, I'm not too sure, but let's have another look. Was he blocked off? No, he wasn't. He's got the opportunity. Certainly looks like an own goal. Might be, is it Billy Clifford? It's come off. It is, and Shared Hadrovic was celebrating as if it was him. It's Billy Clifford's own goal, that one. Terrible start, tons of time to make it better. McEachran to Papo, with the armband on tonight. Danny Papo said, bring Arsenal on, we'll take him. Away goes Laukovic, great chance, Milan Laukovic! Saved by Martinez, a bit of one for the cameras, I think it was going wide anyway. But we saw the pace there of Milan Laukovic, who's mainly a winger that can play in the middle. He's quick, and it was nearly 1-1. Well, again, it wasn't manufactured by Chelsea. It's a little bit of good fortune. The deflection comes through, and it allows Lalkovic to get his speed up going towards goal. Can't quite get the power or the purchase on the ball he wants. In comes McEachran's corner. They've been working on these. Watching it at Cobham yesterday. McEachran's left-footed in swingers from that side and the away swingers from the other. Here we see the opportunity for Lalkovic as the ball was deflected over the centre-backs. He runs on to good first touch, just couldn't quite get the purchase he was looking for under a little bit of pressure from Hadrovic. Now Billy Clifford needs some options. He's got one out right now. And Sampaio is right back, he's up with him. A touch there from George Brislin Hall. Well, to be fair, since the goal, we've looked uh, reasonably solid and looked okay. I think we've been. It's been nice the way we've been progressive and tried to get into their area. Billy Clifford with the cross here. Lalkovic able to control. Savile coming forward. Lalkovic takes over. Here's Bobby Devine. This is more like it. 
Wonderful ball to Billy Clifford. Smash it. And it's cleared up and over by Ignacy Miguel. Good response this from Chelsea. Well, the only thing missing here was the tap into the back of the net, wasn't it? Arsenal just about scrape it away from Miguel. So lucky. Clifford's corner. It's a low one. If that was a plan, it didn't work. It probably wasn't. George Saville nearly had another one from a couple of feet out there just to add to the first youth team goal of his career which he scored in the last round against Sunderland from a well, slightly five yards offside position shall we say good little spell though that yeah I think I think we've come back well you know you know we've not been too demoralized with the goal we've got on with the game which is great to see boys have stuck to the game plan which is important I'm sure that uh, will be more than happy with their response. However, when you're in the ascendancy, you need to score. McEachern with the ball in. Dangerous and should be in and is in. Whistle's gone, not going to count. Oh, so unfortunate, isn't it? To see it being offside all day long, really. But here we see it again. Good ball, this is. And the back line's not sure. That's where the first one should have gone in. Kane finds Laukovic. Divine points where he wants it, that's where it goes. Did he slip as that came in? Needed a jump, he seemed to fall over. It's amazing that he didn't make contact. What a great ball in this is as well. It's done ever so well to get the delivery into that sort of position. Seems like he only needs to steer it goalwards to give him half a chance of scoring, but missed his touch completely. And here he goes again, Bobby Divine. Great footwork. Taking on and beating Boateng. First time ball in from Aziz Dean Conte. Chelsea ball. And again, right idea by Conte just to deliver first time. Plenty of bodies in the box. I guess, you know, you go back to that opportunity. Half a chance, you think. The Kekron corner. Danny Papa with the header. And that's a better save from Martinez. Clawed it out. That was heading goalward. Arsenal scored from a corner. Chelsea have just very nearly equalised with one as well. Yeah, just difficult to get power on this header, wasn't it? He's gone for the loop, hasn't he? Just to try to steer it up and over the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper does quite well to get it away. Well, they look like, certainly, it's a look, push here, certainly look like a push on Lalkovic. Let's have a look at it again. And the arms up. Well, there's two arms in his back. I tend to feel that's one missed by the referee. Good touch there. And Dean Conte brings McEachern into play, and that's a lovely pass for Lalkovic. And the curler is just wide. Well, not too sure if Martinez has got a hand on this and just tucked it, pushed it away. Lalkovic thinks so. He just thought, what a ball again by Josh. Just gets inside the fullback. This is his opportunity, Lalkovic. He's got to get beyond his defender. The defender doesn't close him down, so he decides to spin it around the outside. Here we see. Well, there's no touch by the keeper, he's missed the target. Here goes Daniel Boateng, forward from right back. And he's still going, Boateng, and he almost picked out a phobie. That's a very important challenge, that from Papo, but it's not over yet. Sampaio heads to the relative safety of a corner. He's made a great last tack last ditch tackle here, hasn't he? Only Papo, just look at it. Nathaniel Chalabar's positioning here, the four, he's been, he's been pulled out of position, he's completely out of the action. There we see him, he's in the wrong position, totally. Really Papo has done really well to get in behind him. There you see the challenge, great timing. Corner comes in. Bobby Devine just lumps one forward, but it could turn into a great ball, this for Lalkovic. Lalkovic is all on his own at the moment. Milan Lalkovic, well, he had to go it alone. And it was going to have to be a, a better strike than that, to be fair. It had to be smashed into a top corner, really. Yeah, just needed that little bit of good fortune here. Time into the strike would have been so perfect here. If he'd have really pinged this, doesn't he do well? Look at the pace. Gets away from one defender. Another one comes across, just forces him wide. That's good defending. Makes it a difficult angle for him. Disappointing in the end, wasn't it? Just when you wanted something to... Give the boys a lift going down the tunnel. It doesn't come. 49 on the clock, and that is half time. One minute on the clock. Dermot Drummy saw 
Is you cut 